Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Your Willy for another episode of Mass Effect 3. Now, when we left off, we were investigating Brothian, named Bob. So, let's go ahead and just figure out what we want to know. Like, uh, his civilization. The here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean's civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide <laughs> until the Reapers arrived. The then Metacon. We machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? Hmm. What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Yay. Oh, Prothean device. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Yeah, that seems to be all of relevant information. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Or Bob. I'm gonna keep calling him Bob. See ya, Bob. Hmm. Misty. Alright, so... We have collected 
Zay Profian. You. Need anything, Commander? No. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. And... Don't think there's anything else I need right now. Let's go ahead and figure out what quest we got. So, we have... Let me see. So let's go to this one. A refugee needs pillar of strength, pillars of strength to improve his people's morale. Find the pillars in the kite nest and return them to the refugee camp. All right, let's see if we can find that on the big map. The world universal map thingy. Try to figure out my way out. Oh yeah, that's right. Over here, then over here, then here. And go to the combat station. Any mail? Yes. Anything useful though? Okay. So it looks like Ashley became a spectre. Good for Ashley. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. <laughs> ah, slaves. Poor Eden. Totally getting his butt handed over and over again. Okay, so oh, let's go. Hold on. Let's make sure there's no, like, planet here. No? Okay. I think we can go. Asgard. I don't think there's anything in Asgard, actually. Let's just hop in here, see what's going on. Oop, come back. Ooh. That showed that. Signal confirmed. Oh, crud. I don't know what to do. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. No. That sucked. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get out of here. That place is scary. <laughs> You can do it, you can do it. Up, oh, in, in. I almost ran out of fuel. No, that's just the ship map. I was hoping for an intergalactic map. But I guess I could just do this. So there's the find the artifact one. Let's just do that. Right next door. Thump. Alright. Oh crap. Last time that happened, things tried to kill me. <laughs> Let's enter here and hope nothing d kills me. All right, start the scanner. Let's go this way. Come on, you can do it. Turn the world a little bit faster. And fire probe. Hee <laughs> hee probes. Is that all? 
Weapon upgrade kit. Alright. Let's get... Wait. Why do I feel like there's still something missing? I think that's everything. As far as I'm aware, that arrow should be pointing me. So let's just leave orbit. And... A wreckage. So it got some fuel. Ah, shoot. Get out of here. Get out of here. Plot. Successful. <laughs> I think I'm escaped. Let's go here. <laughs> Just kind of leave, <laughs> come back, not get eaten alive. That was scary. What's this? Oh, that's the academy. So that's, uh, 25%, 28%. Uh, let's go... Let me think. I know I needed to shoot. I kind of wanted to just go to my quest journal thing. Uh, I think I got the information I needed and return it to the refugee camp, so we're good on that one. Um, who was it that wanted... Somebody wanted artifacts. for guns and it was one of these guys who wanted guns yeah general needed some guns so that the blue suns let's look and see if there's anything on the map that says about like artifacts I thought there was one uh, but I could be wrong um, artifacts let's see Cerberus lab find artifacts shoot of course it's in the one that I'm getting attacked from so let's go back <laughs> and cross our fingers that they, they went away <laughs> they went bye bye ah crud they don't like me Reapers eluded. dang it alright I'll just have to go back in a later date because I don't know what to do with those things <laughs> besides flee They know I'm coming. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Citadel. Scan it and enter it. Citadel, long time no see. Stock. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you I need ground transport? Better be. Uh, refugee camp. I need to get to the refugee camp. Yes, Commander. I like how I can do that. Just enter the location that I need without having to like take the elevators and all that stuff saves time now it was probably the guy at cargo 5 that needed the uh, pillars of hope or whatever oh it's that info nothing new then nothing new at least yet what about the food we were promised men Get ready for trouble. You're all gonna die. I mean, hey, I got good news for you. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. No, oh, oh, hey, it's that person. You're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Saying you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. <laughs> see? Told ya. Have the lackey do it. And we're good to go. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. No, I'm Commander Shepard. 
world leader. Alright, who's the freaking person I'm supposed to talk to with the pillar information? You. A Bataran refugee. Well, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> Map. Because all I got is Garrus and the terminal. I guess I could go to the terminal. Wait, Garrus was supposed to be here. Garrus, why you no talk to me? Why you no talk? He hates me. How rude. All right, let's 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 boogie around terminal. Okay, I'm trying to find that refugee. So we just went in that term area. Let's go quickly peek around here, see if anybody has news. No, I can't remember what the Paterans look like. That's that'd probably be a good thing to know. Codex index. Okay. Alien council species. The Asari were the first species. The second, roughly twelve hundred. Non-council races, Batarians. In the early twenty-one sixties, ah. the alliance Him. began aggressive. So let's look for one of those guys. Oh yeah, there was one over here. Are you the one I need to talk to? No. You? No. Ah, who am I supposed to talk to? You. Somewhere around here. There's lots of you guys around here. None of you? Maybe I didn't get the information. Wait. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. No. Huh. Weird. Okay. I guess I can't complete that mission. Uh, we completed uh, other missions, so... That's a good stopping point. I'm going to go ahead and end it now. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the epicness. This is Mr. Willie signing off. Adios.